Thank you, um, Leila, and uh, thanks to the Oxford Nanopore team for organising this conference. I don't get out of the lab very much, so this is overwhelming. Um, so I wanted to just start by um, acknowledging my um, PhD student, Lauren Cowley, who's um, sitting here. Um, she introduced me to Oxford um, Nanopore Technologies. Um, she was given the opportunity to work with Nick Lohman and Josh Quick on the Ebola outbreak, and she came back from um, Guinea fired up and full of enthusiasm for sequencing on the Minoan. And before she um, left to do a postdoc, we were able to do a couple of um, E. coli sequencing projects on the, on the Minoan. Um, when Lauren left, um, we uh, employed David Grieg, this is David here, um, and the first thing we did was enrol David in, in poor camp. He needed an isolate to work on while he was at poor camp, and I gave him this isolate of enteroaggregative E. coli um, from a patient who had um, returned recently to the UK from Pakistan, where he'd been hospitalised, um, and he returned with persistent diarrhoea. So visited his GP, and um, we isolated a strain of E. coli that had a lot of um, antimicrobial resistance determinants in in the in its in the genome. And David's quest was to try and um, determine the genomic architecture of these AMR determinants. So he went to Poor Camp, and when he came back, he managed to get um, a single contig. And I tweeted this, and because I was very impressed, but the poor camp team tell me that you always get a single contact after poor camp or your, or your money back. <laughs> so um, moving on to what I'm going to talk about um, today, um, this study actually came out of an idea that uh, Layla pitched to me and Kath Arnold um, back in September. Kath Arnold is the head of the whole genome sequencing service at Public Health England. And what Layla was essentially asking was, could the outputs, the sequencing outputs of the Oxford Nanopore technologies, like the Minion, um, be processed by the bioinformatics pipelines that we have at Public Health England, um, which were essentially designed to handle um, short read data. So Layla and Kath wanted to um, uh, sequence salmonella, but I said, no, uh, let's do E. coli 0157 because it's much, much more complicated and it'll be much more interesting. So I'm not sure if that was the right decision, but um, this is uh, where we are so far. Um, shortly after we had this discussion, um, I was notified of a, a couple of cases of hemolytic uremic syndrome, two little boys. Um, who were aged two and three, who had been admitted to Great Ormond Street Hospital in London, which is the children's hospital. And we isolated E. coli 0157 from their faecal samples. And I thought, well, let's use these two isolates and sequence them through the Illumina pipeline, and um, we'll also sequence them um, on the Minion, and then we'll run the outputs through our pipeline at Public Health England, and compare the data. So um, this is the phylogeny of, of 0157. And you can see that the first thing to note is that the um, Illumina data, the short read data, and the Oxford Nanopore data, um, the analysis showed that it, was, it could be placed on the same branch of, of the phylogeny. But comparing those two sequences to uh, a reference strain, we found that there was 28 SNPs difference between these two sequences. And before we even looked at the data in more detail, we kind of were assuming that this was due to um, a miscalling in the Ox mis base calling in the Oxford um, Nanopore technology data uh, due to um, poor coverage. But when um, Tim looked in more detail at the data, so Tim Dolman is our lead bioinformatician in the gastro lab at PHE. And when he looked more closely at the data, he saw that the discrepant bases were not distributed evenly um, throughout the genome, but they were um, distributed in clusters um, in the prophage regions of the genome. 
And what he's suggesting, what he thinks is happening, is that the majority of the dis differences that we see, the discrepant SNPs that we see, are false um, positives um, in the Illumina data around the Profage region, of which there are lots um, of there are lots of prophage in the um, in E. coli 0157. So I'll just try and go through that in a in a bit more detail. Um, this is the so this represents um, a prophage in the patient genome, and this represents a prophage in the reference genome. And the long read technology um, spans the whole region of the prophage and recognises that they're different. But the short reads, um, for example, in the red section from the novel um, or the patient um, genome, the phage here, um, the reads from this part of the phage, the red section, um, map to a similar section in the different prophage. Um, so the regions are similar but not identical. So we're the, the, the methodology called SNPs in that data. So we're suggesting that arguably these are, are false positives in the Illumina data. So that is um, the first case. In the second case, the isolate we found was not the same as the, the first case, but it did cluster with three other sequences in a small outbreak that we were currently investigating that we um, that looked like it was associate, associated with handling raw pet food. So there were only three other cases, so we were able to sequence those three cases, our fourth case from the HUS case, and an outlier on the same run of the, of the Minion. And, um, this is, and we, we, we clustered um, the data t together independently from the Illumina data. Um, and this is what we found. So this is the short read um, cluster. This is the long read cluster. A, B, C, and D are the outbreak strains, and E is the outlier. So you can see from this that the Minion data did cluster the outbreak strains together with only one or two SNPs difference between them, and slight differences in the distance between the outlier. And again, we're not quite sure why that is yet, but we need to do some more work on that. So um, the next question I had for Tim was, uh, what would happen if we took the cluster of um, Oxford nanopore sequences and patched them into the um, phylogeny that we have, um, the Illumina phylogeny that we have in our um, archive database? Um, so he tried that just last weekend, and he messaged me on Sunday and said uh, it didn't work very well, and he needed to have another go at doing it. And he said, um, he said, so I'll send you the tree, but whatever you do, don't show it at the conference. But I want to show you the tree, so I will. Um, so with the caveat that this is wrong, um, but I, I'm thinking that because this is a, a, a community that we, should, we can show our failures as well as our successes. So um, this, the, the black... Um, References are the Illumina data in the archive database, and the red is the Oxford Nanopore technology data um, that we sequenced on the Minion. And um, these four here are the A, B, C, and D outbreak strains, and this was the outlier. So um, why I really wanted to show you this tree was to give you a... a feel for the kind of things that we're doing at Public Health England and why we want to be able to um, integrate um, the long read data with the short read data and, and why we want to do that. And, but also to really ask if anyone else is doing this kind of work and um, if, if we can pool our resources to try and, and work through the problems. So finally, um, I just wanted to show you one or two more slides. Um, one of the other reasons why I wanted to sequence um, E. coli 157 um, using Oxford nanopore technology is because of all the prophage in, in the accessory genome. And we have this idea that um, we can look at the prophage sequences and they will give us some clues that may help guide 
our foodborne outbreak in investigations. And I'll just give you an example of, of what I mean. Um, so, um, the, we think that there's good evidence that the, there's a geographical signal in the 0157 phylogeny. Um, for example, the UK scene is dominated by um, three sublineages, and when we see isolates outside those sublineages, they're usually from cases who have travelled abroad or have consumed um, uh, contaminated imported food. But that's, that signal is not very sensitive. So the idea is that um, if, if, you, if E. coli are taking up prophage or bacteriophage from the environment, then that will be a more sensitive marker of the geographical location that that strain originates from and, and by association um, give us an idea as to where the imported food might be from. So this is very much a work in progress. We're collaborating with um, colleagues uh, David Galley, who uh, works at the University of Edinburgh, and Sharif Shaban, who have a, they have a big, who's at the uh, Bioinformatician in Health Protection Scotland. They have a big database of um, E. coli 0157 prophage, so we're going to um, interrogate their database with our, our strains. So just to summarise then, um, we're uh, continuing to um, run Illumina and ONT sequencing in, in parallel for our routine surveillance and outbreak investigation. Um, we're also using um, the MinIron data to uh, characterise AMR in our enteric isolates and this is proving to be really helpful. And um, recently I've also applied for some funding um, going full circle back to my first slide to um, try and develop some protocols for sequencing Vibrio and Yersinia, um, both for routine surveillance at PHE, but also for at rapid outbreak response to cholera outbreaks and outbreaks of plague. So finally, just a few quick thank yous to everybody. Um, thanks to Layla, Layla and Divya is here helping David do some um, uh, library prep. This is Sharif, who's part of our, um, our collaborators in, in Scotland. And so thanks to Lauren as well. But a big thank you to David and Tim. I'm sorry that you have got me at this talk, um, in, 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 at this meeting instead of, instead of them. Um, they weren't able to come, but they will be at um, meetings next year presenting updates on this study, and they'll be able to answer any technical questions that you have. Um, so thank you again to Layla for inviting me, and thank you for listening. <laughs>